this is Kate Havnevik. I have a new album called Lightship. I wrote this album with Guy Sigsworth and we took some time talking to our friend and Norwegian music journalist Per Sundnes about each track on the album. In this episode we're talking about Into Dark. Track 3 is Into Dark. Yeah, Into Dark is, um, uh, it is a dark track, actually. And, uh, Guy, you, you pulled up, like, a ring modulator in the studio. Yeah, I, it, as I said, each time I'm trying to come up with a new sound to inspire Kate as we're jamming. And I found out this sound, I, I rooted one of my FM synthesizers into a ring modulator. What's that? And Kate immediately started... Singing. A ring modulator is the kind of strange thing that makes the Doctor Who Dalek voice. I thought, yeah, we'll use that. <laughs> Doctor Who Dalek voice. And then the funny thing was, as soon as Kate got off singing and I'm playing this thing, I suddenly realised, because of the ring modulator, it could basically only play one note. Whatever note you play, it pushes it back to this note. So all I can do is make it louder or distort it, but I can't actually change the note. So the funny thing is, if you listen to that song, there's this kind of synthy thing that um, it's a bit... I think I get something that's the midpoint between the Prodigy and Giorgio Moroder. But it can only play one note. And then in the chorus, I've, I, there's like an organ that adds on top of it. But it was like impossible to move it from that one note. So I just thought, let's go with it. You know, sometimes one note can be very powerful. But it's, it's intriguing <laughs> that you say Giorgio Moroder and the Prodigy, because I think yeah. the whole of this album is far from that. Yeah, it's funny, but you see, I always love that. The funny thing in this record is, even though it's... Not exactly a dance floor record. There's, we've, read, we've got more songs on this that have like a quietly, very, very quietly, they have like the 4-4 four, four dance kick. Even uh, Come Back has it. Um, and it's like, we just do it quietly as like a heartbeat almost of like the fetus, you know, in the womb. But that sort of felt quite reassuring. Um, and, you know, it's definitely not a disco record, but, th- you know, the memory of discos is still in your mind. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> making, you know, isn't it? <laughs> the, the the memory of good discos, anyway, hopefully. <laughs> the cool thing about Into Dark and the Ring Modulator and its kind of limited harmonic uh, vibe, yeah. it, it sometimes reminds me of folk music, like a mouth harp. Yeah. Like, do, 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 you know, it, yeah. it sort of has yeah, that the, little sort of... There are, there's some folk music that's like that. Yeah, it has a little too. element of that in the middle of the yeah. distorted thin. And... Um, yeah. And... Uh, Again, Guy inspired me uh, to to start on the lyrics because uh, I was probably at your place and sometimes we get a lot of books. We even get a lot of books just to have the laptops on top. So so the mm. laptops are not like so far. Like we do now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the and, then, <laughs> and then we look at what books are they and then we get inspired. <laughs> I and, think um, that people would be very disappointed <laughs> if they saw what we have here because it's the Star Wars co- concept it's actually star wars yeah Yeah, and Um, it's the return of the jedi but anyway um this book that guy was talking about was a book that he had i think there had been some interview of the writer or something but it's called playing Mm. dead uh, a journey through the world of death fraud and we we just got sort of intrigued by death fraud like what is that like when you lie that you're dead and you're not yeah you fake your own death and you disappear yeah and we got sort yeah. of really intrigued by that. Like, what kind of people do that? And how do they do it? And we started sort of, uh, it was just sort of, like, regardless of lyrics, we were just sort of curious about what, what what's that all about? And we, we sort of Googled mm. it a bit and we started reading some things. And we we realized mm. that the, the people who mostly will fake their own death, they're either in big financial debt <laughs> mm. or they yeah. have some sort of, they just want to escape their sort of family. They have like a double life or something and um, in some trouble or, you know. So so that was kind of really interesting in that there's the sort of setup out there, which is, of course, illegal, but you can find it. and On the dark web. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you can actually yeah. make it happen like that, you know. So that became sort of mm. a bit of the inspiration for, for the lyrical aspect. And, you know, the lyrics open with pink manila and espadrilles. And we're sort of picturing <laughs> picturing this woman who's gone to some faraway country where she's contacted people. In the Philippines. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but then you, you, when you ha- have such a visual idea and it comes from a book yeah. and then you give it away to Gotti, 
Yeah, for the visual aspect. Yeah. What yeah. does he come up with then? And we decided to once again use this sort of paint image and style because we kind of love playing with it. And it also gives us a lot of possibilities. Some of the paint can look quite special when you blend it and treat it in the right way. And then we, we played around with the song and with movements. And it became, I think, the, the right expression for the song because the song has kind of an aggressive bass line or vibe to it with the rig mm. modulator wouldn't you say guy oh yeah and then this gave kind of a an interesting uh, dark edge to it i think and like like in the song i sing now or never you know it's kind of one of those songs that is supposed to give you that feeling you know you have to go for it or never do it <laughs> And, uh, but I do, I do really like that sort of flavor of the old folk tone mixed into the distortion ring modulator. Yeah, it's like folktronic, isn't it? Folktronic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. the next band. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly.